Welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm glad you joined us today. Today is class number eight of our 30 class Chair Yoga series. So we're going to start seated today, but then we'll be adding some standing poses. If you like the experience, I hope you'll click that subscribe button. It's free and leave me a comment. Let's get started. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall in our chair and we're gonna move forward in our seat, okay? So we're not leaning back. We're gonna place our hands on those thighs and we're gonna ground our feet to the earth. So thinking about grounding both feet, having them equally weighted on that floor. Same thing with our sits bones. So we have these pointy bones that we sit on and we want to have those in the chair equally weighted, and we want to be sitting up nice and tall on top of those sits bones. So we're going to lift that heart up nice and tall. We're going to pull those shoulders down out of the ears. Our hands are resting lightly on our thighs, and we're going to flip our palms up to the ceiling. Close your eyes, and just connect to your breath, feeling your natural inhalation and exhalation. Draw your attention in towards your heart center, letting go of everything outside of the room. Just inhale a little more deeply. One more breath here. Bring your hands to your heart and set your intentions for today's practice. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. We're going to drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. And then we're going to drop our chin towards our chest. We're going to drop our left ear towards our left shoulder. And drop your chin towards your chest. Look to the front of the room. Let's look out over that right shoulder. And look center. And let's look over the other shoulder. And look center and roll those shoulders. Mm. And reverse your shoulder roll. We're going to do that one more time. All right. Right ear to right shoulder. Mm. Feel the stretch in that neck. And chin to chest. I don't know about you, but I feel some crunchies and hear some crunchies when I do that. All right, let's do the other ear to the shoulder. And back down, chin to chest. We're going to look to the front of the room. Let's look to the left. And center. And to the right. And center and roll those shoulders again. So just think about rolling those shoulders mindfully, right? So we want to feel all the sensations and then reverse it all the way around. So don't skimp on it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. One more. All right. Very, very good. I know it's a shocker to those of you who've been with us a while, but we're going to do mountain pose. <laughs> it's just so good to warm up. All right. Spread those fingers nice and wide. You've got it. We're stretching those hands. And remember, if that doesn't feel good, you're just going to leave that part of it out. But I still want you extending those arms down, lifting up through the chest. Shoulders are out of the ears. Belly is tight. Go post arms. We're going to squeeze those shoulder blades back behind us. You want to try to keep 
this part of the arm parallel to the mat, okay? So squeeze, squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you, working those upper back muscles. You got it. Extend up to the ceiling. So there, here we are in our extended mountain. I want you to really think about lengthening through that spine. And if you want to keep your elbows bent, it's okay. But try to lengthen, 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 and bring those hands down. And we're going to do that again. All right, ready. Mountain pose. Spread those fingers. Go post arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you. Extend up. Try to touch the ceiling. Now, with your left hand, I want you to try to lengthen a little bit higher. And then come down. In your right hand, we're going to lengthen just a little bit more. And come down. If your elbows are bent, you're still lengthening. It's okay. You can still get the lengthening. And to the other side. I'm going to do that one more time. Lengthen. Oh, yeah. And lengthen the other side. Feel that stretch through that spine. And release. Let's roll those shoulders again. And reverse it. Really, really good work. Okay. So the next series is a windshield wiper knee. So what we're going to do is we're going to move forward in our chair. Our feet are still on the floor, hip distance apart. Okay. Grab the chair, and all I want you to do is let your knees fall to the right. Now, if you'll notice, my hips are not coming with, right? So my hips are staying forward. I'm not letting my hips move too. And that, that's going to let you get a little bit deeper stretch into the side here. And let's come center, and then we're going to let our knees fall the other way. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, but I feel it. I feel a pretty good stretch right here. And let's come center. Okay, so we're going to do that again. And I will tell you, if your feet are too close together, you may not feel as much. So we want those feet to be, I call it hip distance apart. So at least the width of your hips. Maybe a little bit more. Not too much more, but maybe a little bit more. All right, think, think about lengthening through the spine, crown of the head to the ceiling. We're going to reach back and grab that chair. And then let's go the other way first here this time. So we're just letting those knees fall to the left. You feel that? Mm-hmm. I feel it. Knees come center, and then we're going to let those knees fall the other way. Windshield wiper knees. Let's do it again. Up we go, and let them fall. And up, and we're going to let them fall the other way. Really, really good. Okay, and release. So the next thing is, is going to be a hip strengthener. So this one is an isometric stretch, and all that means is we're going to be putting pressure in two different directions, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place our palms on the outside of our thighs. So it's not way up here. We want it down, you know, closer to the knees. And what you're going to do is you're going to press your legs out as you press your hands in. All right, so a little isometric work for those hips. So I don't know about you, but not only am I feeling my hips working, but my upper arms are working too, right? You feel that? Okay, let's release it. Ha, take a moment and we're gonna do that again. Ready, here we go. Pressing the legs out and pressing the hands in. Really feeling that work there. One more breath and release. Now, we're going to do that on the other side. So we're going to bring our hands on the inside of those legs, okay? So I'm going to press my hands out as I press my legs in, right? Now, one of the things, I, I do this in my in-person classes, and I'll tell them, you know what? You can do as much or as little as you want on this one, right? I won't know the difference. But I encourage you <laughs> to really work it, really press those knees in and press those arms out. Let's release it. And then we're going to do that one more time. But I won't know the difference. Only you know, right? How much of this, you're, how hard you're working on this one. One more breath and release. Okay. So now we're going to take that uh, series and we're going to add on. You know we're going to add on. Remember, you've got these to do. If you want to do the, this version, that's fine. So what the next pose is called is Malasana pose. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take our feet just a little bit wider and we're going to begin to hinge forward, okay? Now, instead of it being my arms here or my hands here, it's going to we're going to put the inner part of our arm on the inside of those legs. Now, I'm going to have to bring my legs just a little bit wider so that I've got enough space because I personally can put the palms together and now I'm going to squeeze my inner thighs in as hard as I can. And because I've got my palms together here, there's my resistance, right? I'm pressing those legs in. My belly is tight. My back is flat. Press, 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 press. And let's release that. Okay. And we're going to do that one more time. You pick the version you like. It doesn't matter. Pick whichever one you like. And let's do one more time. Here we go. One more. Isometric hip strengthening here. Garland pose, malasana pose, also called garland pose for three. Squeeze it, two. Squeeze, 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 and release. Let's go ahead and bring those feet in. How did that feel? All right, very good. So we're going to come to standing behind our chair, okay? So go ahead and come all the way around to back behind your chair. Now, we're going to move into a goddess pose, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to heel toe our feet out, out at least the width of the chair legs. If you can do it a little bit more, that would be awesome. But I want you to do what feels right for you. Now, we're going to have our toes out at a diagonal, okay? So our toes are not forward. Our toes are out at a diagonal. And we're going to bend our knees. Just hold on to that chair. Begin to bend your knees. Now, as you bend your knees, what I want you to think about is rolling out to the outer edges of your feet, okay? So I'm, not, I'm really activating inner and outer thigh here a lot. So I'm rolling my out to the outer edges of my feet, and I'm going to begin to deepen that knee bend. So checking in, make sure the alignment, you want your hips and your knees and your toes to be in alignment, okay? And you want to make sure your knees don't come in front of the toes. Hanging on. Oh yeah, who feels that? One more breath. Let's straighten those legs and come in. And we're going to do that again. Exact same thing. I'm assuming you can see me okay. Um, I don't know. Should I move out to the side a little bit? Let me, maybe I'll do the next one out just a little bit so you can see, make sure you can see me what I'm doing. Okay, you stay behind your chair to hang on to it. So here we go. We're going to heel, toe, heel, toe, right? So we've got those toes at that diagonal. Our belly stays super tight here. We're going to begin to bend our knees. Right? We're lifting up through that pelvic floor. So we don't do not want to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my, my stance a little bit wider here. Because I already knew my knee was gonna come in front of my toes, and we don't want that. So think about lifting up through your pelvic floor. We're gonna rotate out towards the outer edge of those feet. We're holding onto that chair and we're gonna deepen our goddess pose. Okay? So we're just starting with the legs. You know we're gonna be adding the arms here in just a second. But I really like to, and you'll notice I do this a lot, and, and I do it in my in-person classes too. I like to focus on one area first, and then we'll add the other area. Sometimes we focus on legs first and then add arms. Sometimes we focus on arms first and add legs. But I like to do that because it gives us that opportunity to really just focus in on that one area. We build a little muscle memory, and then when we add the arms, the legs are like, okay, yeah, I know what to do. All right, are we ready? One more breath. Let's straighten those legs and come. Okay, take a moment. Whew, who feels that? <laughs> I do. Okay, so the first add-on we're going to do, let's talk, th talk it through before we get there. We're going to do the exact same thing with our legs, and then all we're going to do is we're going to let go of the chair, and we're going to move into those goddess arms, okay? All right, here we go. It's a heel, toe. I'm going to come back behind my chair. I think you know what I'm doing now. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. Make sure your toes are at that diagonal, right? So now, as I begin to bend my knees, 
I'm going to rotate out, right? Rotate to the outer edge of those feet. Your hips are going to shoot back. I'm going to get a little deeper into that squat. I'm still holding onto my chair to begin with. Pull that belly in super tight. Ready? We're going to let go of the chair and come into those goddess arms. All right. Can you deepen your squat any? Just try. If you're like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. That's okay, right? We have one more breath. Grab that chair. Straighten those legs. Go ahead and bring them in. Whew. Right? Is that okay? I'm getting a little out of breath. I mean, this is not, this look, this is one of those poses that does, looks like, yeah, whatever, you're not doing anything until you do it. And then you're like, wow, there's a lot to that pose. Okay, so the final piece is we're going to get back into our goddess legs. We'll come into goddess arms and then we're just going to lean. All right. And that's the last piece of this. Okay. Well, it's the last piece of this pose, and then we're going to add a little horse pose in there. <laughs> so I don't want to lead you astray. We are going to do a little bit more, but okay. Are we ready? Here we go. Heel, toe, heel, toe. All right. Belly is tight. Begin to bend those knees. Rotate to the outer edges of those feet, right? Come in a little deeper, a little deeper, a little deeper. See if you can get any deeper. Belly stays tight. Let's let go of the chair. Goddess arms. Okay, so all we're going to do now is we're going to lean our goddess. And we're going to come up. And we're going to lean our goddess the other way. And we're going to come up. And we're going to twist and come center and we're going to twist. How are those legs? I know, I know, I feel it too. Come back center, grab the chair, straighten the legs, and heel toe it in. <laughs> man, 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 right? So I don't know about you, but I'm feeling my quadriceps pretty extensively. I've got some inner and outer thigh working. My belly is super engaged so we want to keep that belly engaged and if you lift up through those pelvic floor muscles so like you're stopping the urine flow it helps so getting that entire core engaged is going to give you some good support because we're going to move back into that pose and we're going to do a standing horse pose series and what this is is we're going to add in a little bit of balance okay all right so here we are back behind our chair same thing, heel toe, heel toe. We've got this one down pat now, don't we? Rotate to the outer edges of those feet as you begin to bend the knees. The hips are back, belly is tight. We're hanging on. I don't know if you noticed, but the crown of my head is, is staying up, so I'm not leaning here, right? I'm staying lifted up. There's where the abdominals come in. Really use those abdominals to keep you lifted. Okay, hold that chair to start with. We're gonna add, we're gonna stop holding the chair in a minute, but we're gonna hold it to begin with. And all I want you to do is take your left heel, excuse me, your right heel up off the floor. Mm -hmm. You feel some activation in the calf, in the inner thigh? I do too. Put that heel down. Let's lift that other foot up. So feel what happens when you lift that heel up. Feel that calf working and feel that inner thigh engaging. Put that heel down. Let's do it again. Lift and lower again lift and lower one more lift and lower last time lift and lower straighten your legs let's come in and take a little break so you feeling okay take a moment the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stay holding on to the chair but we're going to lift both heels up off the mat so we're beginning to work into some balance let's do it heel toe heel toe Bend your knees, rotate out to the outer edges of those feet, pull that belly in, lift your pelvic floor muscles, lift that crown of that head to the ceiling. All right, ready? We're going to lift and then lift. It doesn't matter which one you do first. Hold that chair. I know, right? You already feel the balance down and down. Let's do it again. Lift and lift, down and down. Let's do it again. Lift and lift. 
down and down. One more. Lift and lift. We got this. Down and down. Now straighten your legs, but don't bring your knees in. Let's see if we can just stay here. Give our legs a little break. Okay, we're going to do it now. We're going to let go of the chair. We'll come to goddess arms, and then we're going to see if we can lift our both heels up and stay in, in a little bit of balance work. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Bend those knees. Be sure you're rotating out to the outer edges of those feet. Pull that belly in. Pelvic floor muscles lift. Hold that chair to start with. Okie dokie, goddess arms. Here we go. This is it. Let's lift one heel, lift the other heel, hold and breathe. Yeah. There's your balance, right? You feel it? Down and down. Ready? Lift and lift. Hold and breathe. Don't hold your breath. Hold the movement, not the breath. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Down and down. Lift and lift. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Down and down. Last time. Lift, lift. Hold. Balance. For three, two, one, hands to the chair, straighten the legs, and heel to the feet in together. That was just mean, wasn't it? <laughs> Horse pose. All right, let's come to seated. Ha! Ah, you're like, yay. I like having a seat now. So we're going to move into pyramid pose. So we're going to take our right leg, and we're going to extend it out nice and long. Our legs are going to be happy that we're doing this. Lengthen through the spine nice and long. Hands on those thighs. Let your heart begin to fall forward. Look out, not down. I'm going to move a little forward in my chair. There, that feels better. So looking out, not down, right? The reason I needed to move forward was it was kind of cutting into the back of my leg. It, it, it didn't feel good, right? So if you need to make that adjustment, do it. All right, let's roll it up. Extend nice and long through that spine. Inhale and exhale. Look out, not down, right? Looking out, keeping that back flat. There's that hamstring stretch. It should feel really good. Tuck that chin and roll it up. And we're going to do one more. Nice long spine. Inhale. Exhale. Down we go. Oh, yeah. Hold the movement, not the breath. And up we go. All right. Let's bend that knee and put that foot on the floor. Go to the other side. So we're extending the leg long. The toes are to the ceiling. So we want to make sure the toes aren't out at a diagonal. We want those toes to be straight up to the ceiling. Hands are going to rest on those thighs for some support. Here we go. We extend nice and long through that spine. Pull that belly in. Inhale there. Exhale as you come down. You don't have to do the breath, right? Just breathe naturally. It's fine. So I'm looking out beyond my toes. I'm not looking down. Tuck that chin and roll it up. Let's do that again. Nice long spine. There's your inhale. Exhale. We're going to look out, not down. And tuck that chin and roll it up. We're going to do one more. Nice long spine. And down we go. Very good. Hold and breathe. One more breath and up we go. Let's bend that knee and put that foot on the floor. Okie dokie. We're ready for our Shavasana pose. We've made it. I know, right? Let's sit back in that chair, hands resting lightly on the thighs. We're going to go ahead and flip those palms up to the ceiling as we close our eyes. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. The best way forward. Declining to lift a weight will not make you stronger. Refusing to deal with a challenge will not make the challenge go away. Giving yourself less to do will not enable you to get more done. Putting off your work will not result in accomplishment. Rise to the challenges. Do it sooner rather than later. Your activities on any day can be easy or they can be meaningful, but not both. A week from now, a decade from now, meaningful will bring much more richness to your world than easy. Of all of your choices today, which ones will result in new value? Go with those. The best way forward will demand much from you. This is your chance to give it willingly, enthusiastically, and to enjoy the goodness that flows from all you're able to accomplish.
Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Ah, thank you so much for joining today. I really appreciate it. We've made it to the end of class number eight. Please keep showing up. Click the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.